Godzilla Unleashed. The Captain Plays! Hey everybody, it's Captain Play Guy. And here with the new LP, Godzilla Unleashed! My plan for this is to... The pl my plan for playing this game is to play all four factions in this game, playing as their representative one, like Godzilla for the Earth Defenders, which we'll be starting off with right now. So tell me ho! Overwrite that, yes! Along the way I'll try to give like trivia and stuff about the series in general, Godzilla. Meteors have struck the Monster Island Containment Complex. These meteors are producing anomalous crystal formations, trapping some monsters. The crystals have also weakened the force field barriers, and there is a high probability that the monsters will try to escape the island. Our lunar sensors have detected multiple objects heading directly toward Earth. Are they alien ships? No, sir. Readings indicate that they're asteroids. Hundreds of them. But why didn't our deep space probes pick them up before now? That's what's so strange. They just appeared, materialized out of nowhere. They're headed right for us. There isn't time to launch countermeasures. Send out a global alert. How long till impact? Does that answer your question? Check on the monsters. Those meteors may have damaged the force field barriers. The island's taken several small hits, but wait a minute. Something strange is happening. It looks like some kind of crystal formations. They're growing from the impact points. My god. I've got a hunch the Vortac are behind this. An invasion can't be far behind. Right now, we've got to keep the monsters from escaping the island. But, dude, that's us! We gotta save the world! Anyway, I'll also try to go over like the differences between this game and the uh, previous two, Destroy All Monsters and Save the Earth. And trust me, there are a lot of them. The energy and health work much differently. Energy? You don't recover that over time. Uh, health? You've got five different uh, sets of health bars. Um... And each one, you lose one of the uh, health bars at the top. It's much different, but you could get into it. Not necessarily good, though. Alrighty, we freed our friends. Now it's time to go kick some tail. Also, you can rush. That's one of the new things. Rawr! Crash. Oh. I don't know why I just try to throw a building onto another building. As you may have seen, those, um, uh, things about the faction points that you have are, to me, they are arbitrary, because it, it, you kind of can't help in gaining faction for one or the other, depending on what you do, you know? But hey, we're escaping Monster Island now, and prison. Ganon has once again been imprisoned. <laughs> That takes care of day one. Next, San Francisco. It's the big one, folks. Damn crystal that split us wide open, right down to San Andreas. The bay's pouring in like a Niagara Falls. Hell of a sight. If anyone can hear us out there, we're in a world of hurt, people. Here we are in the next day. What's this? You have something, Miku? Sir, this is a completely different crystal than what we've been seeing. Look at these radiation readings. They're off the charts. It's just surging with some strange alien force. Yes, and the monsters. 
They'll be drawn to that radiation. We'd better scramble a mecha unit to that location ASAP. We'll see if it can recover a sample for Dr. Shiragami. But, sir, we can't predict what effects the crystal radiation might have on our mecha. We might be placing them in danger. We'll have to risk it, Miku. Prepare Mogira for immediate launch. Attention, this is not a drill. Initiate Mogira launch sequence. The monsters can sense the power in these crystals, but we can't know their intentions. And here we are. Have you heard that music that was playing in the latter part of that cutscene? That is just awesome. The music here, it's a mixed bag. Some of it's really good like that. In fact, I used that song in another video, which I'll link. Here we are, facing Mogira. Mogira. I forget what his name's supposed to stand for. I know it's got Godzilla in it. Now here you've got two different things you can do. You can destroy all these crystal formations. They made it easy for us right here. You can destroy all these crystal formations, or you can defeat uh, the monster with a surge in battle. You just, if you defeat the monster in battle, you get that. You get that surge. different that I'm about to demonstrate. Get over here! That's... Okay. If you will just let me show it! Asshole. Seriously, asshole. You only have one throw, whereas before you had like three. points for mutant. In fact, it took away, but the mutants want power. Hey. The temperature's still dropping. Minus 20. The harbor is fast and solid. We're buried down here, mate. The crystals seem to be generating the storm. It's like another ice age. I don't know how much longer we can hold on. Wait a minute. Crikey. What's that? Some kind of enormous rising crystal formation. It's... It's alive. What it, mate? Update, the existence of hostile crystal towers has been confirmed. Here we go to Sydney, Australia. We're just going through, a, like, another ice age. But it does snow in Australia, as confounding as that is. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, where the hell are you, you giant crystal tower? Okay, there you are. Hey! Ow, you hurt me. Hey, 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 h
watching a cup block. Yeah! Of course Godzilla knows Kung Fu. He's Japanese. Alright. Certain crystals will give you will refill your health or your energy. Hmm. You know what? I feel like demonstrating critical mass if possible on this stage. Critical mass, basically you absorb so much radiation from the crystals that you uh you can go into a state of critical mass. You're much stronger, but your defense is lower. Here we go. Hey, you'll also notice that your uh, monster becomes much larger. You get, they get all red and stuff. Asshole. Break through the barrier! Do a barrel roll! <laughs> ah! Asshole, you froze me. And I shrink. Just wanna get that freaking blue crystal! Lord. And it gives me a critical mass once more. Yeah! You must die! For the good of mankind! Boom! Another thing! You jump much higher! I just want to get over the friggin' bridge! <sighs> Good lord. Not, why is it that when you're playing the game, it makes your rage? I'm gonna let you waste that on your own crystal formation walls. I don't know. Why not alternate, Godzilla? Yeah, 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 hey, give me. Uh, aha! That's a that's a strategy you can employ. Uh oh. Paint me like one of your French girls. <laughs> Whoa! I did. Oh man! I'm about to die here. I'm about to die here. I'm about to die here. Good. Okay. Recover. 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 Okay. Uh. Okay. I think I might have a chance here. Come on. Come on. Come on. You're not dying on me today, Godzilla. Yes. Ah, that will conclude the first episode of The Captain Plays Godzilla Unleashed. Goodbye!